kill me if I deny being an Igbo. Joe Ibukwe blow hearts. Although many Nigerians have continued to aspire different political positions in Nigeria, some ethnic groups have, however, continued to feel marginalized in the current Nigerian political system. These groups have continued to demand equality and justice. They have continued to demand that the federal character principle be applied in all political appointments in Nigeria. In out today's politics discussion, we will be looking at Joe Iwokwe replying to the Igbos saying that they should kill him if he deny being an Igbo and also challenge them for accusing him of not fighting for the Igbos. Hmm. Joe Ibukwe has replied to a letter. A man identified as Tunde Olaruye wrote to him in the morning. According to the letter, Olaroye persuaded Joe Ibukwe to begin to change and re-strategize so that his people can love him. In his reply, Ibukwe told him that he loves his people. He argued that what he sees now, the Igbos cannot see it. Ibukwe stressed that although the Igbos are marginalized in Nigeria today, preaching secession will not help them. Rather, they should find ways of negotiating. He reminded them of what was lost during the Civil War and why they must not follow that path again. Ibukwe asked the Igbos to emulate the Yorubas. This post has attracted a lot of attention as many people are reacting to it. The majority is of the view that this is good advice. They called on Igbos to learn how to negotiate with other regions in Nigeria. They also advised them to emulate the Yorubas. Is it the Igbos that's supposed to emulate or it is the Yorubas that's supposed to emulate the Igbos? My dear viewers, you can see that Joe Ibukwe has completely be, be sold out to the Westerners. He has been sold out. He has been sold out. So what are we saying? See, let me tell you something. There is nothing, there is nothing um, anyone, there is nothing anyone can say concerning this very point that Joe Ibukwe have just raised, that the Igbos are the ones to, uh, to, 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 to learn from the Yorubas. When talking about marginalization, who is being marginalized? Is it the Yoruba or the Igbos? It is Igbos in Nigeria that are marginalized. The Yorubas you see today agitating for their own uh, uh, rep Odu uh, Oduduwa Republic is because they have already seen the possibility of the Igbos, of the Igbos leaving Nigeria. So they have thought of it and they saw it and said, no, if these people leave Nigeria, oh my God, Nigeria will be like a desert. And don't forget that these same Yorubas were against the, uh, they were against the, uh, the, 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 the agitation of Biafran freedom at first, early, earlier, earlier, they were not of recent. Of recent, they saw the possibility of Biafran gaining their freedom. So they decided to do what? To begin their own pursuit. That was what led uh, this professor 
to start up the agitation because it cannot afford seeing the Yorubas suffer. Suffer. <laughs> Oh my God, this is becoming interesting. Well, so my dear viewers, you can see, you can see things for yourself. You can see things for yourself. So I bet you and I throw this as a challenge for you to look into this matter. Look into this matter, evaluate it properly and try to see reason why uh, 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 the Igbos, the Igbos must fight their way out of this country. You understand? Why the Igbos must fight their way out of this country? The Igbos don't need to, you know, to add sympathy to any anything in this country again because they have been marginalized. They have been marginalized. What Joe Bukwe is just saying is, is for his own good. Nobody should listen to him at all. Nobody. I keep telling people that Joe Bukwe is, anytime you see Joe Bukwe speak, he's speaking for himself and not for the people. Who is marginalized there? He's saying that it's all time the Igbo go out for negotiation. To who? To Bwari? To the Westerners? Who have, have who has the Igbos offended? Oh my god. Joe Ibuque has been sold out. He has been sold out. The Igbo has nobody don't have anything to negotiate. They don't need to negotiate with anybody because they have done no wrong. They have offended no one. So what are they negotiating? What are they negotiating? Who have they are they speaking to? And why? For what reason? For what reason? You can see what we're saying. Huh? You can see what we're saying. What are we negotiating? You see, when it is said that Joe Ibukwe has been disowned, the Igbos, the kinsmen in Ibulan know what they're saying. Because you can never for one hear Joe Ibukwe sing praises of his people. And that is why even in this very broadcast, it is still said that Joe Ibukwe is, the, is an hater of the Igbo. He's an hater of the Igbos. You understand? And that is just it. So, um, I will tell you emphatically that Joe Ibukwe prefer remaining in the southeast than returning back to the south sorry we prefer remaining remaining in the southwest to say than returning back to the southeast why because of his personal and selfish uh, purpose he believed that he has really achieved. He believed that he has really succeeded. So there is no need returning back home. That is good and fine. He should remain there. He should even die there. And he should be buried there. So in conclusion, I will say that there is no need for the Igbos to go into any negotiation with anyone because there is there is no no there is, because the Igbos has done no wrong they have offended no one and they are, they are, they have they have not taken what belongs to anyone all right let me hear from you for this very news concerning this very uh, broadcast don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates Thank you.